Questions are building around the position of officers at the Los Angeles International Airport after Friday's shooting that resulted in the death of one TSA agent. Federal prosecutors have now charged 23-year-old Paul Ciancia with two felony offenses, murder of a federal officer and commission of violence in an international airport after he allegedly walked into LAX's third terminal Friday morning and killed 39-year-old TSA officer Geraldo Hernandez. Three others were injured. Sianzo reportedly shot two more uniformed TSA officers and two other people before he was shot at least four times by airport police. The incident has stirred questions about the positioning of airport police officers around LAX. Just last year, officers were moved from behind TSA checkpoints to in front of them, where they are required to cover more ground and possibly leave unarmed TSA agents vulnerable and without backup. Airport Police Chief Patrick Gannon acknowledged the trade-off of having officers cover a larger area. The threat at the airport does not exist behind security at that podium. The threat exists from the curve line on. So are they going to be in the exact same place, exactly where I'd hope they would be? No, it didn't happen in this particular case. The union representing airport screeners says the shooting highlights the need to review both TSA security protocol and protocol of partner agencies as LAX begins to function normally once again. According to LAX's Twitter feed, more than 1,500 scheduled flights and 160,000 passengers were affected before all terminals were reopened on Saturday. The TSA's administrator says the agency will discuss a large range of security issues with congressional committees next week. Meanwhile, police have still been unable to interview Ciancia as he is unresponsive from his injuries. If found guilty, he could face the death penalty. For Newsy, I'm John O'Connor.